Good morning. I want to talk to you today about an attribute of God that is known as His righteousness. His righteousness. This, of course, means that God is completely ethically pure, similar to holiness, but it has a particular view to the way that God acts. Uh, a verse that comes to mind is Psalm 11, verse 7. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. The Lord is righteous. That means that, that that's his actual nature. Is It's intrinsic to who he is, is to embody righteousness. From that character, then, he loves righteous deeds. He looks and longs for and loves righteous deeds and acts among his people. We should note that that means that God always does that which is righteous. He always does that which is righteous. That's an important idea because there are times when things happen in our lives and we feel like God has sold us down the river or kind of given us a bill of goods. But the reality is that God does what's right. And our job is to trust that, is to trust that. Shall not, Abraham said, the judge of all the earth do right. Yes, he shall do right. He shall do right. And we need to rest in that. We need to trust God's character. We need to believe that when we don't see on the horizon of our life what is good, what is profitable, what might even seem right about what he's permitting. We need to remind ourselves that our limited observation, our limited sight doesn't take away or steal from the reality that God is righteous and that his actions are right. And so I can trust his character even when I can't trust my own. I can trust his way of happening to my world when I can't trust my own way of happening to my world because he is righteous. And I just want to encourage you to rest in the righteousness of God and to realize that when the Bible teaches us in the gospel that God has given us in Christ his righteousness, that means that he has given us a standing with God the Father because of Christ God the Son that we are always seen with that pristine character. I don't always have that, but I do always have on the robe of Christ's righteousness, and that's how God sees me. Even though I may not always act it, he sees me ultimately in that way and with that righteousness, and I can rest in that. So God is righteous, God does righteous things, and I can trust him for that, and he bestows to me his righteousness in Christ. What a blessing, and what, an, what a bountiful gift. Worship him today, my friends.